It's a great job growth stimulus. Exactly right. Uh, when you know, I've, I've had my kids graduate from college. Fortunately, they didn't uh, have to take out student loans. Uh, we gave them four years, and the fifth and sixth year, they were on their own. But the student loans across this nation, over a trillion, right at a trillion dollars now, the doubling of the interest rate, which was in the Republican budget blueprint, will stifle the economy. As those kids graduate, they have to pay off that loan immediately. Not just, as we propose, 15 percent of their disposable income, but even a higher percentage. That's money that they cannot use uh, to buy a car. They've got to pay the bank. That's money that cannot be used to start a home or buy a refrigerator or any other economic activity. Uh, unnecessary. Now, we can't allow that to happen. And so what we need to do, and here it is. This is a ticking time bomb for the American economy. This is a ticking time bomb for the American economy. Today, after today, there is just 66 days left before the student loan interest rate doubles to 6.8 percent. Is action being taken? Mr. Clark, you have a bill in. The Democrats have proposed a bill that would keep the student interest rates where they are now, 3.4 percent, and pay for that by reducing the subsidy that every American taxpayer gives to the oil industry. Over $12 billion of our tax money, your tax money, the public tax money, now goes to subsidize the wealthiest, most successful, most profitable industry in the world, the oil and gas industry. So what we would propose that the big five that get more than $5 billion a year in your tax money to subsidize their fat profits, which over the last decade have been more than a trillion dollars, Yes, that's right, more than a trillion dollars of profit, and you're adding five billion dollars a year of your tax money to their already substantial profits. We would take back that five billion and use it to reduce the interest rate on student loans. Now, the Republican proposal. Now, Let's understand, this is a big issue across the United States. It's erupted on college campuses. There's outrage. There's concern. The Republican budget that uh, came out of this House less than a month ago has hit the stone wall. The public doesn't like it. And so today, just late this afternoon, a proposal came from the Republican caucus to introduce a bill to not double the interest rate. Good. Well, how are you going to pay for it? Interestingly, you know how they're going to pay for it? They're going to take money away from seniors. In the Affordable Health Care Act, there is a provision that allows seniors to get free uh, checkups, free preventative checkups. So the Republican proposal doesn't go to the millionaires, doesn't go to the billionaires, doesn't ask them for any sacrifice. Instead, it says, oh, yeah, we made a mistake on doubling the interest rates, and we're going to pay for it by taking the money away from seniors and their health care. They go, what in the world are you doing? What are you doing? Why would you do that? Why would you take from the poor and seniors more money and give it while keeping the millionaires the billionaires, and the oil industry whole. I don't get it, but that's their proposal. Our proposal is to go to those that have extraordinary success, the oil industry, and say, after a century, after a century of subsidization by the American taxpayer, we're going to reduce that, and we're going to take that tax money back, and we're going to make sure that the students of America do not see a doubling of their interest payment on the student loans. Mr. Clark. Thank you, um, Mr. Garamendi. And then the other point that you're making about student loans and, and capping these interest rates, how they'll create jobs, that's absolutely right.